Yo, what's up guys? John here, aka Ripped Pyro 14 and today I'll be showing you how to make a Lego launcher. Say hi, Jeff. Oh, forget it. Move, Jeff. This is going to be the base for it. It's just one long plate with a couple of tiles, really long tiles on the top. First, we'll need the walls and the sticking up thingies. Here. This is going to go here. And same on the other side with this one. And then, this piece will go here. Flipping it around. The same over here. Yeah. Now it kind of looks like a little, um, I don't really know what it looks like. <laughs> Alright. Now, we'll need the firing mechanism. And the firing mechanism housing. Here are the three components of the fire, firing mechanism housing. This one, this one, and this one. Now let's see. This one is going to be going inside of this one. I sure hope I put that right. Maybe it goes like this. Yeah. I think... Mm, uh... I don't, uh, jeez. Uh, let's see. Anyway, this thing goes in here. And then this thing is going to click on to this. Like that. Should work. Yep. Right like that. Now we've got the firing mechanism housing. Now we just need the firing mechanism, which is really just this little piece here that goes inside here. And now comes the tricky part. We've got to attach this do that, but that's not the tricky part. The tricky part is feeding this rubber band, which pretty much makes the launcher happen, through that little hole. Alright. See if we can do it. I did it before. So I should be able to do it again. I built the firing mechanism housing for this review because on my previous few tries, the firing mechanism exploded when I shot the cannon. So I kind of had to prevent that. The cannon wouldn't really work with an exploding firing mechanism. Oh, great. It turned out I put the sticking up things on the wrong sides of the cannon, but I fixed that. Anyway, now we need to stretch out the rubber band to hook around the sticking up things. One rubber band fastened. And there we go. Two rubber bands fastened. Now, you have your basic launcher. Let's test it out, shall we? I have some ammo down here. Uh, I have a regular cylinder. A 
rigid cylinder, a brick, a dome, a mailbox missing its door, a set of wheels that isn't even really a Lego, it's some cheap imitation, and the lifeless body of R2-D2. Oh well. Alright. So now, we're going to be shooting them all out of the cannon. Let's, see. Let's get the cannon into a firing position here. Stand back, Jeff. I'm going to see if I can hit my drum set from here. And... <laughs> I hit my, um, I hit the side of the thing. <laughs> it was going too fast to see. Well, for the camera to see anyway, I was watching the screen. Alright, let's try the non-rigid cylinder now. Let's see what it does to my apocalypse truck. Let's test the toughness. <laughs> Absolutely nothing. This is one tough truck, folks. Watch my other video. Now let's see if I can knock down these dangerous explosives. With this mailbox. Oh! <laughs> Knock down the nuke and the, um, other one. See if I can hit the missile with this dome. What the? Oh. <laughs> Didn't push the ammo back. Ah, knocked it over. Perfect shot. What should I shoot at next? Hmm. How about I try knocking over this wall? Whoops. Stand up, you idiot. Stupid thing! Alright, here we go. That was weird. Let's try the cheap imitation wheels next. Arg. This thing's starting to give me fits. Arg, I missed! And now, the lifeless body of R2-D2. Burial at coffee table. Hit the glass. I hit it. Okay.
Well, the launcher does work, as you saw. It can shoot stuff really far. I guess I could build a bigger one that could shoot the missile, like, vertical. I might just try that in my next LEGO tutorial review. Ripped Pyro 14 out. Say bye, Jeff. Bye.